hey what's going on youtube welcome to another video today i'm gonna show you how to fix this soldering station this is the yihua 939d plus if that's how you pronounce it but if you have a different variant it's gonna basically uh be the same uh problematic you will have the same error on the screen but basically what happens is when you turn it on it's gonna first start like it's gonna heat up and then it's gonna throw an error message and as you can see it's a 5-E and it's basically related to the heating element being broken and the heating element is the white tube in this part right here that makes the tip heat up so to fix this you basically have two options you have a cheaper option being replacing the heating element which is going to require some soldering so for that you're going to have to have a backup soldering iron and solder in a brand new one but the second option which is a little bit more expensive is basically replacing the whole handle it comes with the handle and the connector which is about uh, 20 bucks on Amazon but if you decide to only replace the heating element that's about 10 bucks and I will also add links in the video description so I'm gonna turn it off and then we're gonna disassemble the handle and as you can see this is the heating element This is basically the part that you can replace. It does not include the PCB, the PCB stays. But first, let's go ahead and replace the whole handle. You basically do that by removing the connector. Again, I will have a link in the description if you're interested. This is a brand new handle. And as you can see, this is fully compatible with this unit. So if you have a different unit, you want to make sure that it is compatible with your unit. As you can see, this is a different model number. As you can see here, this is for 907F. Well, this is a 939D+, but it's still compatible. Alright, so let's go ahead and connect it. Then we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. We are heating up and no error message. It's heating up perfectly fine. No problem at all. All right, so this was the second method. This is gonna cost you about 20 bucks. Now I'm going to show you how to replace only the heating element. Alright, so this is a brand new unit. Alright, as you can see, you're also going to make sure it is compatible with your unit. Again, they have multiple models and different soldering stations do look the same 
but some of them use different parts so you want to make sure it is uh, compatible with uh, your machine compare these two and as you can see they are similar no difference alright so you're gonna make sure you pay attention to the connections you have two terminals on each side in total four terminals and they all have to correspond to the original placements a good way to do this is to line up the two parts and cut off the terminals to size matching where they have to go right here and then the bottom one Alright, and when you're done cutting, you will see that they all have different length. Alright, now I'm going to remove it. and in the brand new part this one has bare terminals that's not good I'm gonna have to transfer over the installation from these ones so we can avoid a short so we have a brand new part soldered on now we're gonna put it back together Alright, so now we have a fully restored soldering handle. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the brand new one so we can test the repaired one. Alright, as you can see now we have a fully functional soldering iron again with a replaced part. And as you can see, we have a fully functional part again. So if you decide to replace it, it's a uh, 10 bucks. If you have another soldering iron to do the soldering work, uh, the $10 replacement isn't so bad. So if this did solve your issue, give me a thumbs up, subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.